Now, the food guide pyramid was later revised due to con continuing criticism that it didn't provide appropriate advice for certain nutrient groups for our subgroups. In 2004, after much debate and deliberation, the Department for Health and Human Services and the U.S. Department of Agriculture released an updated version, which has been accepted as national policy since 2005. This has since formed the backbone of all food and nutrition policies throughout the United States. Now, the Food Guide Pyramid was later revised due to con continuing criticism that it didn't provide appropriate advice for certain nutrient groups for our subgroups. In 2004, after much debate and deliberation, the Department for Health and Human Services and the U.S. Department of Agriculture released an updated version, which has been accepted as national policy since 2005. This has since formed the backbone of all food and nutrition policies throughout the United States. So we're going to look at the advantages and the disadvantages of our poop food pyramid. First of all, let's look at the advantages. Obviously the advantage is that it encourages people to think about their diet and the food group choices. It leads to a reduction in pre-made processed food because we're trying to encourage whole food options. And it also encourages the consumption of fresh fruit and veg. It looks at portion control and encourages healthy portion sizes. It also aims to encourage a whole food diet and encourages moderate alcohol intake. Those are all the advantages of the food pyramid. So let's look then at the limitations or the disadvantages of the food pyramid. Whilst it has a lot more advantages, there are some limitations in that the fact that it's aimed at populations, not at specific individuals. It also adopts an approach of a one-size-fits-all attitude. It has been criticised by being shaped for food agencies and politics. There is insufficient guidance on portion control, and also all of the fats may also be classified in one group as opposed to um, separate groups.